stopped eating rice 24 years ago. I stopped drinking Coca-Cola 23 years ago. I stopped eating Amala made out of yam 23 years ago. I stopped eating, I, I, I mean, I stopped eating Eba 24 years ago. I got, I got to the point where I realized that the food of Africans was designed by farmers. If you want to live long, you have to do some things. Anything you eat after six never digests. And it's a preacher's disease. Ask, I mean, Reverend Steve, we'll finish crusade in uh, Bogatanga. They'll bring out the food by 11. <laughs> when you eat those things, your body has to store it. Since you cannot burn it. So he stores it here, he stores it here, and he stores it here. <laughs> that is the truth. Next truth is this. When you reach 50 plus, cow meat is not good for you. So you want to have a good heart and good kidney. Those two things. They cut down your meat, they cut down your sugar, and cut down your salt. By the time you enter sixth, you should try to say bye-bye to sugar and pinch of salt. I was flying into Lagos on Monday, first class. I flew in first class. And every time the lady was to serve, oh, you want your tea again? I said, yeah, black, no sugar, no milk. Sometimes I put the honey, but a lot of the honey, they've put sugar. And a lot of the things you are eating, they will not write sugar anymore because they know you don't want it. So they will write energy. Anything you read and saw, energy, sugar, <laughs> That's wow. why you see that energy there is higher. So let me just take you through five, six things I do. Number one, cut down the, the time you eat. Number two, cut down the size. You won't die. <laughs> And then let me give you the third shocker. I only eat once. Then number four, I have a gym in my house. I do four hours. So last year I lost the size of a four-year-old child from my body. I'm sure you can see that I've shrunk. Four-year-old child left this body. So eat less, eat early, cut down sugar, exercise. cut down salt. Exercise, exercise, exercise. One of the reasons for exercise is that it takes out the toxins from your body, gives your liver, your heart a good... One of the reasons, Pastor, why I now went that hard was that I went to my doctor. I do yearly checks. I'm not one of those pastors who will just say, divine healing, divine healing. Yeah, I believe in divine healing. In fact, since 70, I've never slept in a hospital in my life. In the past 70 years. Never. Maybe when I was born, I think my mother went to the hospital because MRS was free, military hospital was free. That's the only time I've ever slept in the hospital. But I, I do yearly check, and in the check they said, you are now in the place where if you don't do something, we might begin to give you high blood pressure medicine. I said, me? Hmm. What should I do? They said, no more sugar in your food at all and pinch of salt and then lose weight i said how far for the, what they recommended when i got near it everybody last year were thinking if i even nigerian press they said pastor matthew is sick <laughs> and they didn't know he was just trying to be healthy so that's wow. it it's a tough one i hope the, i answered these opportunities are very rare but the questions are much but time is